Now, the most accurate weather team in Florida, ABC Action Weather. Hi, everyone. Thanks for stopping by ABCActionNews.com for your forecast. I'm meteorologist Jason Adams, and if you are off Monday or you're heading back to work, the forecast looks pretty good. We'll have to dodge a couple of those afternoon thunderstorms, and there could be an isolated coastal shower from Highway 19 to the beaches across all of our coastline. But overall, that chance is going to be fairly low into the morning hours. The afternoon hours, 30 to 40 percent from I-75 to the beaches. The sea breeze should start at about noon, and then the rain chance will be up to around 50 percent for those of you east of I-75. Future cast showing you that the sea breeze again setting up around the noon hour. This is 12. 30 and we're starting to see that hint of green here along the beaches and then that shifts inland as the sea breeze moves inland throughout the day. Your high temperatures again back into the upper 80s and low 90s. Of course, it will feel hotter than that when you factor in the humidity more like 100 degrees. Florida's most accurate seven day forecast shows the storm chance is actually increasing just a little bit by the middle of the week up to around 50%. A cold front's going to stall to our north, but with it being closer to us, that'll increase the rain chance just a little bit. However, it's not going to bring any cool weather with it. Of course, it's July. We're not going to get any cold fronts here until maybe September. So much to see is what you get here as we look at Florida's most accurate seven day.